Welcome to a journey through time where we explore the fascinating world of professions that have faded into history. Join us as we uncover the stories of bygone jobs that once shaped the fabric of society but are now mere relics of the past. From the town crier's booming announcements to the lamplighter's nocturnal wanderings, each profession offers a glimpse into a world long gone. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be transported to an era where the streets were alive with the sights and sounds of occupations that have since vanished into obscurity. Chimney Sweep. This job has been around for hundreds of years, peaking during the Industrial Revolution and then falling into a steep decline after the adoption of electric and gas alternatives. Fun fact, door-to-door -door chimney sweeps were called knellers. You can still find chimney sweeps today, just not as prevalent as before. Switchboard Operator Before modern technology, switchboard operators played a vital role in telephone networks. They connected long-distance calls and managed communication channels manually. However, with digital advancements, their role became obsolete as automated systems took over. Nonetheless, switchboard operators were once indispensable components of telecommunications infrastructure. Cigarette Girl Cigarette or Cigar Girls worked at bars and clubs beginning in the 1920s. They would usually sport a pillbox hat and a tray around their neck with a selection of cigarettes for patrons to purchase. The Cigarette Girl became a popular cultural icon, and by the 1950s, Cigarette Girls could also be found at sporting events. However, as Americans' attitudes toward smoking changed, she became a thing of the past. Bowling Alley Pin Setter Bowling Alley Pin Setters, typically young boys, were hired to manually arrange pins after each throw. This demanding job required agility and speed. Though physically taxing, pin setters played a crucial role in ensuring smooth gameplay. Automated pin setting machines have since replaced this nostalgic profession in modern bowling alleys. Pre-radar listener for enemy aircraft. Before radar technology, troops relied on acoustic mirrors and listening devices to detect the sound of approaching aircraft engines. These tools helped focus and amplify distant noises, enabling early detection of enemy planes. They served as crucial early warning systems, allowing for timely defensive actions. Lamplighter. Lamplighters played a crucial role in illuminating streets before the introduction of electric lamps. Using long poles, they lit, extinguished, and refueled gas or oil-powered street lamps. However, with the advent of electric lighting, the traditional profession of lamplighting became obsolete, marking the end of an era in urban lighting. Elevator operator. Elevators didn't always move with the simple push of a button. Back in the day, elevator operators were in charge of controlling everything from the doors and direction to the speed and capacity of the elevator car, a lot of layers, or should we say levels, to the position. In the 50s, automatic elevators became more common and individuals had to push their own button. Milkman. Every morning in the 1950s, like clockwork, the milkman would deliver bottles and jugs filled to the brim with milk. If you were lucky, sometimes he would even deliver other kitchen essentials like eggs and butter. 
With the rise of home refrigeration, the milk stayed, but the profession expired. Maybe if they delivered cookies too, milkmen would have had a better chance. Rat Catcher. In London, starting in the Victorian era, the city was infested with rats, which were known by then as carriers of disease. To solve the problem, many young people, including children, became rat catchers and preferred this job to chimney sweeping or working in coal mines. Rats were either captured alive and sold as house pets or poisoned in an effort to eradicate them from the streets.